Hello po and good morning once again. Welcome to Everything Bible. And uh, today, we're going to be on our 10th episode. And uh, wouldn't you know it, 10 episodes po, matapos natin yung chapter 1. Okay, we have uh, around uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 verses to tackle today. So, <clears throat> we might as well uh, start immediately. But, um, if you if this uh, first chapter has been a blessing to you, uh, has helped you through trials or has helped you through any temptation that um, you are experiencing. I hope that you share this because uh, we don't know it might help someone else. Di po natin alam kung pinagdadaanan ng mga kaibigan natin dito sa Facebook or mga kapamilya natin. You know, most of the time when a person goes through trials and temptations, um, may mga tao na sinasari lang nila. And, uh, and what, as we have learned um, in the past few days, it is the Word of God that will help them. Okay, and that's what we're doing here. Uh, we're studying the Word of God. We're looking at the Word of God. We're, we're asking the Holy Spirit to help us po na maintindihan kung ano yung mga sinasabi dito ni Pastor James. And I'm, papaano niyang ini-encourage itong mga uh, believers na ito na magpatuloy at papaano nilang malalagpasan itong kanilang uh, mga nararanasan. And uh, compare sa mga nararanasan natin ngayon, I don't think na makukumpara mo yan. Kasi sa atin yung kahirapan ngayon is... Uh, hindi ka nakakapag uh, makdo, hindi ka nakakapag Jollibee. But, you know, these people, it, they fear for their lives. Um, and um, they, they're not living a good life at all. And, but James is encouraging them. And we uh, studied uh, yesterday. I know, sabi ko kahapon, ang uh, title ng ating uh, last episode today of chapter 1 will be Quit Fooling Yourself, which is a very appropriate title. Ano po dito sa ating... Um, uh, verse of verses na ito. But I, I decided to, ano na lang, uh, the man in the mirror. Okay? Uh, hindi po to tribute kay Michael Jackson. But uh, because uh, this is us. When we look at the Word of God, we're looking, the Word of God reveals us to us. Ano po? Uh, uh, oftentimes, tayo mismo hindi natin alam kung ano yung mga magiging reaction natin pagdating ng trials, pagdating ng temptation. Kala natin minsan, Malakas ako, matatag ako, malakas ang pananampalataya ako. Pero sometimes, God allows trials to make you realize na you're not really that strong. And you have to rely on me. O, baka naman, sa tingin natin, mahina tayo, hindi natin kakayanin. But, when, but God sometimes allows trials and temptations to show you that, no, you're, you're stronger than you think. Right? Because of the power that is in you. And uh, uh, I think we're gonna be uh, long today, anyway, Friday naman. Uh, Monday na susunod natin so pagbigyan niyo na po ako bago niyo po patayin yung premiere uh, makinig po, po tayo I'm sure that this will be a blessing I was chatting with someone yesterday uh, Brother Reggie uh, he, he's watching our episodes and uh, sabi, sabi ko nga sana maging blessing sa ito sabi niya of course the word of God is always a blessing and uh, we praise God that, that he, uh, by His grace He decides to give us the privilege to be used to help people understand His Word. And that just amazes me every day. Someone like me, na, na bibigyan ng Panginoon ng opportunity to use His Word and, and help people understand that and help them sa kanilang buhay. So we'll start here. Episode 10, The Man in the Mirror, or Quit Fooling Yourself. It's up to you. James 1.22, it says, But be doers of the Word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. And this is a very uh, packed verse. It's very strong, actually. Um, Napaka-derecha ni James. Parang sinasabi niya, um, be someone who, who does. Not only pinapakinggan, pero gawin nyo. That's kasi kung hindi, niloloko mo lang ang sarili mo. Ibig sabihin, uh, you, you remember those times na, na kinakounsel ka ng, maybe ng family mo, ng, ng, ng parents mo, or ng pastor mo. And uh, every time na lang na magpapakounsel ka kay pastor, parehas na lang. O, ulit-ulit na lang yung pinag-uusapan niyo, ulit-ulit na lang yung problema mo. Uh, you're, you're, you're fooling yourself. Why? Because every time your pastor or, or, or someone uses the Word of God to instruct you kung anong gagawin mo, you take that, and but then you don't do it. You know, it, 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 sa mundo, bilang, bilang Christiano, the devil deceives us a lot. And it's a sad thing when a believer falls for the deception of the devil. But it's, what's even uh, sadder is when we fall for our own deception. Uh, nalulukohin natin sarili natin, tapos paniniwalaan natin yung panluloko natin sa sarili natin. And um, 
uh, James not only tells us to do what we hear, but sabi niya dito, be ye doers. It means, yung, yung pagiging, uh, yung, yung pag-apply ng salita ng Panginoon, dapat yun yung, yun yung life natin, yun yung buhay natin. Hindi lang yung simple na, hindi lang yung basta narinig, ginawa, narinig at ginagawa kasi uh, sumusunod ka lang. Pero dapat yung, yung uh, definition natin bilang Kristiyano ay yung tao na talagang doer. Yung tao na every time that I hear it's clear from the Word of God na maliwanag na ito ang kalooban ng Panginoon, I will do it. Yan ang, uh, yan ang, gusto, yan ang gustong parating ni Pastor James sa mga, sa mga uh, magbabasa nito, sa mga sinarata niya. Sabi niya, okay, God gives you wisdom. God tells you what to do in the midst of these things. Now, now when, you, when, when you listen to Him and you're, you're not arguing, you're, you're sitting down, you're waiting for His instruction, and then binigyan niya sa'yo, do it. Right? Do it. Um, kasi minsan sa atin, mga Kristiyano, para, para sa atin, yung kabuuan ng pagiging Kristiyano is just uh, to know what we're supposed to know. Diba? Yan yung delikado sa mga uh, uh, mapag-aral. Okay? Hindi ko, hindi ko dinidiscourage yung mga pag-aral. And I myself, by the grace of God, I like uh, to, I love to study the Bible. But kung yung knowledge in and of itself is uh, 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 the, uh, the ends, or yun, yun na yun. Kung para sa'yo, uh, nag-aaral ka lang para marami kang kaalaman, then sabi ng Bible, uh, that puff it up. Diba? Lalo ka lang uh, magkakaroon lang ng pride and then eventually that will lead to your fall. It will lead to something uh, disastrous in your life. Kaya nga, it's not all about knowing what we have to know but we have to do what we know. I-balance natin yan kasi mayroon ako mga kaibigan na sa, so, sobrang against naman sila sa pag-aaral at pag-memorize ng verses kasi uh, hindi naman daw ginagawa and Logic, logic lang naman, common sense. Paano mo gagawin kung di mo alam? Okay? So talaga magsisimula yan sa kaalaman, knowledge. Okay? Alamin mo, pag sa point. But, we also have uh, uh, to do good. Kasi when knowledge, yung kumar- kung filled ka with knowledge and wala siyang application, it becomes just dead. And James talks about uh, that here. Dito sa uh, book of James, uh, uh, faith without works, you know, it's dead. It's nothing. So knowledge without up- application, it's nothing. Well, knowledge itself, it has some good in it, but it does no good kung hindi natin na-apply. Yeah, apply okay? Uh, na five minutes tayo doon. So, verse 23 and 24, sabi, so, gawin natin, not only hearers, but doers. For, sabi sa 4.23, bakit? For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Di ba? Pagka, nung sabi ni James na uh, wag ka lang kayo basta naki, na, nakikinig o hinihintay yung pakinggan yung sasabihin ng Panginoon, gawin nyo rin. Bakit? Pag hindi mo ginagawa, para kang yung tao na tumingin sa salamin, nakita mo na may muta ka o na may, uh, may naglalambitin dyan sa ilong mo o ngumiti ka, nakita mo na may chocolate pa tapos narealize mo na ang pangitignan pero hindi mo tinanggal. Uh, uh, umalis ka Nakipag-meet ka pa rin sa mga uh, uh, kami, pumasok ka pa rin sa trabaho, pumasok ka pa rin sa school, nakita mo na nga ng gulo-gulo ng itsura mo. Pa- parang ganun. Parang, wala, parang bang sayang lang yung pananalamin mo. Ganun lang din yung uh, 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 sa, sa taong kristyano na nakinig ka na, nakinig ka na nagbasa ka na ng Bible, nakinig ka na ng devotion, nakinig ka na ng preaching, nalaman mo na yung mensahe na Panginoon sa'yo, sinabi niya sa'yo ang, ang reason ng trials mo, sinabi niya sa'yo reason ng temptation mo, sinabi niya sa'yo kung anong dapat mong gawin pero hindi mo ginawa, sayang. Di ba? Uh, di ba sabi ko last week and even this week, don't waste your trials. Why? Kasi sayang kung hindi na tayo mag-grow. Sayang kung hindi din natin gagawin. Sayang kung hindi din natin uh, uh, matututunan. So, that is the that is uh, what's wonderful in the Word of God. When we look into the Word of God, when we read the Word of God, we see who we really are. You know, kaya nga, it's, uh, kaya nga the, the man in the mirror. When we read the Bible and we really try to meditate upon it, papakita na Panginoon kung sino talaga tayo. Papakita niya sa atin yung kahinaan natin na marahil hindi natin na-realize. O pakita niya din tayo na maybe strengths natin na hindi natin alam. O pinapakita niya sa atin kung gaano talaga tayo kakulang sa sarili, sa sarili natin. But if, again, if we do nothing about it, wala rin. Hindi naman tayo kukontrol na, na parang robot na o oh, sinabi ko sa iyo yan tapos ako na magkukontrol sa iyo para gawin niya. No. It, is, it should be us who will apply that. And I like what he says here in verse number 25. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, 
this man shall be blessed in his deed. So, tignan mo na natin yung last part na yun. This man shall be blessed in his deed. So, we see here the blessing is in the doing and not just in the knowing, not just in the yes, I heard, but it is in the doing. But it is in the doing. Yung, yung, yung ginawa mo na, yung in-apply mo na, yung, yung, yung uh, 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 ginawa mo na sa buhay mo, nandun yung pagpapala ng Panginoon. Wala dun sa pakikinig. That means, uh, nakikinig ka sa akin ngayon, uh, pwedeng ma-bless ka because of the things that you hear uh, from the Word of God. But if you don't do it, there's really no blessing uh, in that. And sinayang mo lang. Diba? Sana tinulog mo pa. Or sana nanonood ka na lang o nakinig ka ng radyo or whatever. Kung wala rin pala tayong intention to obey. Uh, remember uh, our uh, previous, uh, I think two episodes ago, when we talked about when, when the Lord, when the Bible says hear, it doesn't simply mean to listen. When the, when the, the Bible says hear, it usually means you, you, you listen to follow, you listen to obey. So uh, uh, th- that, is, that is what happens. So the, the blessing there is in the doing. And I like uh, how, how James phrases it. It's basically, sinasabi niya dito sa verse 25. When you listen to the word of God and you let it be planted in your heart, it is God who will work in you the things that you have to work out to show to other people. So, uh, uh, ultimately, it's still the work of God. So that means when we hear the word of God, we allow it to work in our hearts, then that word of God becomes the work of God. Okay, so when we hear the word of God, and we apply it, the Word of God becomes the work of God. And that is b- very powerful. Kasi, uh, hindi, again, hindi lang ito basta sa uh, alam natin. And, and I want us to look at this phrase also. He being not a forgetful hearer. So, para si James, uh, kinukumpara niya yung paggawa sa ating uh, retention, sa ating uh, uh, sa pagtat- na matatandaan natin. Okay, look at this. Kung nakinig ka ngayon at hindi mo in-apply, para mamaya nakalimutan mo na yung sinabi ko. Nakalimutan mo na yung pinag-aralan natin sa Bible. But, kung makinig ka ngayon and then immediately apply it in your life, you'll never forget it. And when and pag dumating yung time na nagkaroon na naman ng trials, na kailangan mo na naman yung mga prinsipyo na tutulan mo, madali mong maalala. Bakit? Kasi ginawa mo. Ginagawa mo sa buhay mo. Hindi mo na itong makakalimutan. Um, um, me and my wife, isa sa aming, um, tawag dito, ah, uh, guilty pleasure is when, whenever there's a slow day or uh, hindi kami makatulog we binge watch uh, Netflix and when and yung mga pinapanood namin sa Netflix hindi mga hindi mga drama drama or what pero we like watching crime series no so nanood kami ng NCIS uh, ngayon pinapanood namin yung I Zombie uh, kaya niyo corny pero maganda try niyo uh, we watched Criminal Minds natapos namin yan Yung Monk, uh, we watch it a bit. Hindi siya sa Netflix, uh, sa iba. And also Homeland, we watch all these things. And and one thing, when there, whenever there's a crime and meron silang suspect na ini-invite to ask them to investigate, now, mahuhulit, mahuhuli nila yung suspect when they ask the details of the crime over and over again. Bakit? Yung tao nagsisinungaling, pag tinanong mo lang these questions over and over again, mag eventually sasagot niya ng iba. Eventually, sasagot niya, ma- mahuhuli mo siya kung ano yung pinagsinungaling niya. Why? Kasi hindi naman niya talaga ginawa yung sinasabi niya. Hindi naman niya talaga ina-experience yung sinasabi niya. And those things, madali niya makalimutan. When you lie, madali mong makalimutan yung kasinungalingan mo. Next time, you you get asked the same thing, you, you say something different. Yan, ma- ma- yan ang ma- ma- mapapansin sa- mo sa mga taong lagi nagsis- na- sa mga taong nagsisinungaling. They say something now, hindi na realize when they say it again, iba na yung detalye. O may dinagdag na sila, mayroon silang binawas. Why? Because they're lying. Uh, simply put. But, kung talagang na-experience mo, o talagang ginawa mo, kahit na ilang beses pa pagbalibalik ta rin, tanong-tanongin ka, you will have the same answer. Why? Because you did it. Same thing with the Word of God. Um, when you just hear, when you just listen, and then you never practice it, pamaya-maya lang nakalimutan mo na. Kung tatanungin ko sa'yo, anong preaching nung Sunday sa church nyo? Natandaan mo pa? Ayan, kung natandaan mo pa, praise the Lord. But, uh, kung nakalimutan mo na, I guarantee it's because you did not apply it. It's because you did not meditate upon it. It's because you did not live uh, uh, live it. Diba? Kaya nga, kung gusto po natin na, na anytime na magkakaroon tayo ng temptation or trials, maalala natin mga prinsipyo na ito, 
apply it in your life and that will be uh, that was all the problem maalala at maalala natin let's uh, be quicker we have two more verses and i want i really want to be in chapter 2 on uh, monday sabi this verse 26 if any man among you seem to be religious and uh, uh, brideth not his tongue but deceiveth his own heart this man's religion is in vain hindi tayo masyadong mag-focus dun sa tongue why simply because babalik at babalik si James Jan uh, in the in the next chapters and he will deal with it in more detail and he will be more specific there but simply put this verse is this verse is saying kung ikaw uh, you seem religious nagaten ka uh, uh isa sabi dito if any man among you kaya niyo nakakalungkot eh kahit na believer ka na nasa church ka na and you look the part uh, you dress the part you act the part pero sabi ni James Meron pa rin iba sa inyo that what you're doing is in vain. Why? Because you're not applying it. Everything is just a show. Uh, you listen, you nod your head, you say amen, you, for, you, you go forward during the invitation, but it's everything is a show. Why? Because you're not applying it. It's empty. Kaya nga sabi ni James dito, uh, uh, you say that you're a believer and then you cannot control your mouth, you cannot control your tongue. That's what he's saying. Uh, that's empty. It's nothing. So what then is a, 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 a not empty religion, a pure religion? So the next verse, which is our concluding verse. Pure religion and undefiled before God. And the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. So ano daw yon? Two things na sinabi ni James. Ano yung pure religion? It is when we, do, when we put what we learn into action and we live a holy life before God. Why? Hindi lang naman yung visiting the fatherless and the widows which is important but marami pa tayong pwede dapat gawin para sa kapatiran. But it simply means that yung tunay na believer, talaga, yung, yung pure, it means that yung narinig natin, ina-apply natin to help others in order to be able to help others and also live a holy life. So, i-summarize natin yung buong first, uh, chapter 1. In our trials... Yung, yung, yung ating mga pagsubok, in our temptation, we have to ask wisdom from God. And when we ask wisdom from God, God promised that He will give it. We ask it in faith. But, we have to listen. We have to wait. Okay? Hindi tayo mag-argue sa Panginoon. Then, when we hear that, when we realize that, when God does talk to us, we have to apply it. Why? In order to be able to help others also and enable uh, in order to be able to live a holier life for God. So it all comes back, that for full circle. And then our faith gets stronger. Our faith, uh, uh, God uses to glorify Him more. And none of these verses, again, for those of you who are watching just because of this, talks about uh, 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 salvation. Okay, wala po tayong binanggit sa mga verses na to that talks about uh, works for salvation. Okay. Only uh, it, we are saved uh, by grace through faith. But James is saying, faith that works. Faith that produces something. And this is what's being tested with tri- our trials and temptations. This is what's being developed. It is our faith. And through listening for God, through waiting on God, through not uh, um, uh, arguing with God, through applying what we hear from God, we can help others who will go through this as well. And then, in turn, we can live a holier life for the Lord. So that is it for chapter 1. I hope that it, uh, it's a blessing to you. We'll go to chapter 2 on Monday. I hope you have a good weekend and uh, help out with your church. I, I hope that you, you'll be there, you'll be present. Uh, you, you, you'll be there 100% helping. Tulungan niyo yung mga leaders, yung mga pastors. And just be a blessing to others in fellowship and uh, in in uh, worshiping god in spirit and in truth so you're lapo ingat po ayo see you on monday